Stephanie Cohen is the woman we're talking about who is joining 41 years old um, and really moving up the ranks very quickly at Goldman. I'll be happy when we don't tell these stories. That's right. I know. It's, right? It's, because it'll be commonplace for a woman to be in this kind of echelon. But what is the significance here of her joining at this level? It is very significant to have a woman, A, and then to have somebody who's this young. I mean, 41 in other parts of the world is maybe not considered that young, but in Goldman's main Management committee, she's the youngest person there. And I think, you know, this is a sign of the times possibly changing under David Solomon as he rises up to become the CEO of Goldman Sachs. But I do want to point out that it is notable she's joining, but she's joining ex officio, which That's means. That's what I like. There's an yes, asterisk. And there's an <laughs> asterisk here, a, bur a bureaucratic asterisk, which literally means, you know, uh, you know, from duty or out of, uh, by virtue of office, which suggests that because she's Goldman's chief strategy officer, she's added to the management committee, whereas maybe she wouldn't be otherwise. Well, and the speculation know. was that that was to not put too far out of joint some noses of some men who are well, older. And who are some veteran longer. men, right. Yeah, exactly. we're, we're in line a lot longer than she was. Which I have to sort of push back a little against that because how many women, you know, have been around in, at Goldman for a very long period of time and maybe never made it to the management committee? How do you think they maybe felt for all of those years when they weren't necessarily reflected in that position? So it is a step forward, but maybe more of a baby step than a mm. leap here.